Hey guys, this felt like a good time to make kind of a flash update into crypto because I've talked about it before and up until this point I've told you to stay out, right? I've told you to stay out until you got a clue to get in, all right? Remember we started back here, we talked about the Wyckoff, clear distribution, clear selling, like this was a clear signal to get out. And you come up, you come up for the head and shoulders with the double top, you break down, you get the retest and now you're down here in this channel, which is technically bearish, okay? This is a bear flag. But that being said, you had two clues to get back into Bitcoin on crypto generally. One was the Fed. Are they going to lower rates? Are they going to roll over? Or are they going to expand their balance sheet? Are they going to do QE5? These are all buy signals for Bitcoin and risk assets generally. Now, you haven't got that yet, okay? Though the market is playing chicken with the Fed because the narrative right now is that, look, the Fed's going to lower rates in 2023, all right? So the markets are already counting in these uh, rate drops that haven't even happened yet. So what you're getting is kind of this playing chicken with the Fed. And you see this in the S&P, you see it in the NASDAQ, the broad indices, right? Um, I'm not a believer. I think, first of all, this is a dead cat bounce here. I just don't see this happening. I don't see this playing out. I think the same thing is true right now in Bitcoin. Of course, there is a second signal you can use to buy Bitcoin, and that is the break of this neckline. If you can get above this neckline with volume, that could very well be a buy signal, especially if you're rewarded with an opportunity to come retest it again and then go up. All right. Just like we came up here and tried to do here and failed. Right. You want to see that happen just the other way if you're a bull. Now, the volume is very low, but if you break it down into the hourly, it's actually pretty high over the last several hours. However, that's not quite enough yet because you can see in the past this has happened at the upper levels before. All right, you got nice big boost in volume, right? As you went into that upper channel and then that neckline, and then it rolled over. Okay, so it does have what it needs in the hourly time frame. You zoom out and it doesn't have anything yet. Okay, anything. All it's doing is touching the upper end of this trend. It could very well roll over. So if you're watching this video and you haven't bought yet, I would encourage you to do two things. One, open a chart, chart this. Okay. Put this neckline on here for yourself and see if it breaks. If it does, does it come with volume? Okay, that's your that's your signal. If it doesn't, then stay away because it's probably coming all the way back down here. All right. Same thing is true with Ethereum. It's charting a little different, but it's the same nonetheless. You have a vertical uh, resistance to get over rather than kind of a neckline. Um, but it's the same thing. It's uh, just a few dollars away from resistance, and the volume uh, looks low on the daily, but it has the same condition of being high in the last few hours. So. Nothing has changed. You do not have a buy signal yet in these coins. However, I will say, if you open up the chart on Ripple, okay, this chart looks good. This chart looks really good. Right? And remember that this is kind of an alternative, right? This is kind of a potential competitor to the SWIFT system, right? To global banking. That's what this was designed to be, right? And it has a clear cup and handle, and it couldn't look better. I mean, this might end up in a textbook one day. <laughs> but until it breaks, okay, until it confirms the pattern, it hasn't happened yet. You can't buy because there's no confirmation. Even though the RSI looks good, it looks where it needs to be, right? Since this top, you've had declining volume on consolidation that's also very good this is very bullish everything's going in the right direction for the chart but until you get the break with the volume okay uh, you don't have the buy signal yet however i bring this up because stellar looks the same way stellar is just another um, version of ripple i know it's more technical than that but that's kind of what it is, and it's charting the same way. So you consider everything that's happening with the dollar, everything that's happening with the SWIFT system, everything that's going on with Russia, and this new paradigm shift taking place of global banking and, and the SWIFT system. I mean, I bring this up to say, are these coins giving us a better chart and a better signal of what's about to happen next in crypto broadly? Or... Could we have a paradigm shift in crypto as well? Because if you look at the broad markets, commodities have broken away from the broad indices, right? They're trading on their own level now. Could it be that because of this paradigm shift taking place with the dollar and Swiss system, the tokens like these break away from Bitcoin and Ethereum and start kind of trading on their own 
the way that commodities have from the broad sector. I don't know. I'm just speculating. I'm just kind of throwing that out there. But it's worth thinking about because when you look at how good these charts look, hey, something might be cooking. So I'm just going to kind of throw that out there for you to chew on. But to reiterate, you do not have a buy signal in Bitcoin or Ethereum yet, but you can chart it for yourself to see if anything changes over the next few hours or the next day. And with that being said, could we see a divergence in the market and some of these altcoins from the big guys?